this is Karen Kaltz with NEMC TV Channel 6. We're here today with Dennis Lemieux, Lenox Township building official, to talk about some frequently asked questions with the building department. Welcome, Dennis. And thank you, Karen, for the introduction. Uh, we have uh, in the building department at Lenox Township several projects that we uh, process, and among those are decks and sheds and pools and new homes and pole barns. And We'd like to kind of go over a few frequently asked questions, as Karen has mentioned, uh, about uh, what what we require in the building department. Typically, if you're going to put up a pool, you would need a, a, a building permit, and you fill out an application, which we can give to you from here, or you can get them online. Um, and typically, you would draw a sketch or supply the documents from the pool supplier that would show the height of the pool wall, the filter, the pump, that kind of thing. You know, you would need an electrical permit for the pump, and you need a building permit for the pool. Typically, we are uh, taking uh, inspecting pools for the safety. We want that four-foot wall. It's required by code to keep children out of the pool, and also they have foldable, lockable ladders or removable ladders that need to be. Uh, either removed or locked in place to prevent a child from uh, climbing into the pool. So that's what we're looking for. But anyway, we actually have handouts for various projects. We have them for new homes, which is pretty extensive. There's probably about a 10-page document, and it's kind of a guideline to help you fill out your application. And it, it talks about having a plot plan showing the location of the home, how far it's set off the property line. It also shows things like a culvert permit, a septic permit, a well permit from the county, a right-of-way permit for the culvert. Um, so anyway, we, we actually have a lot of people call in about this, so we can give them that application or that handout, and uh, Dawn and uh, Amy in the office can help you fill that out if requested, or you can leave your name and I will call you back with that information. Uh, we also have zoning compliance certificates, which is basically if you were putting up a shed or, um, or a building, or if you're dem demolishing something, you would need to show that uh, the setback on that project. And that really, like a, in, for example, sheds that are less than 200 square feet do not require a building permit, but they do require a zoning compliance permit. We also have demolition permits. So if you're going to knock down a building, you'd be required to fill out this demolition permit, making sure Edison is disconnected, and then any gas that goes to the to the house that has to get removed. And we actually have to have a letter for the file to show that that's been done. We also have an accessory building packet that is for things like sheds, large sheds, anything over 200 square feet, or pole barns. It, and it talks about um, a plot plan that's required. It'll show the setbacks from the side yard, from the front yard, uh, the rear yard. And it talks about what's required in the, in the uh, building permit. It also talks about the maximum size you can put on your property. So, for example, if you have a parcel size less than five acres, you can put, on a 20, put up a 2,500 square foot building. Um, if you have a five acre, parcel, there's no limit to it. Uh, there are restrictions on heights and things like that, and it's all spelled out in the packet. And, and I mentioned about the pool permit already. This is another packet that we have. And we also have a pond permit application. So if you want to put in a pond, you'd re require a, solar, a soil erosion permit from Macomb County, and also a plot plan showing the location of the pond, the depth, things like that, the, the slope of the pond. So anyway, if you have questions, it, it, it is actually very helpful to us if you have sketches of what you want to build. It could be a hand-drawn sketch. It doesn't have to be an architect sketch type at all. And we get a general idea of what you're building. That, that's really helpful to us. So if you have any questions, call us at Lennox Township. We'd be more than, uh, more than willing to help you. Thank you very much. Okay, Dennis, thank you for that information. And how about, do you have a status on the Beaumont Hospital project that's been going on in Lenox Township? Yes, we do, Karen. Uh, 
the Bona project is proceeding as you people may notice when they're in the Meyer parking lot at 26 and I 94 uh, we've got a three-story, 115,000 square foot medical office building going up. It's going to have a emergency room to it and several medical office building building offices in it. And this is this is the cover page of our blueprint, uh, and it, it shows kind of what the final product is going to be. Uh, right now, the steel is up, and they're they're putting the steel on on the flat right now for the roof and the, all the floors. But uh, it looks like the project isn't going to be done till next year or sometime, possibly middle of 2021. Um, but the steel is up and it is proceeding as planned. Uh, the COVID did slow it down a little bit, but now it's uh, full steam ahead and, pr and proceeding uh, as it should. Um, just keep an, eye, keep an eye out for updates from the Lenox Township uh, Channel 6 and for more updates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dennis Lemieux from Lenox Township Building Department. This is Karen Kaltz with NEMC Channel 6 reporting.